Okay, hello everyone. It is day seven. We are officially halfway through this project. And today is the day I get to make a meal or a dish um, from a blind basket like they do on the show, Chopped. Um, I'm putting Chris in charge of getting the ingredients. Obviously, otherwise I would know what they are. Um, considering my cooking skills are extremely limited and mostly to breakfast foods, this is going to be interesting and probably disgusting as well. Okay, so we are in Food Lion. I am picking items for Stephanie's, like, mystery box of something she has to make. I have no idea what I'm going to get. I have determined that it will be of the dessert variety, but so far that's as, that's as far as I've gotten. So, um, yeah, so stay tuned for results of what I found. Alright, we are about to show Stephanie what her items are to make. So here they are for all the viewing pleasure at home currently. Not sure what she's going to do with that. About to find out though. Alright, go ahead and turn around. Cinnamon rolls? What am I supposed to do with cinnamon rolls? What am I supposed to make with this? I'm making dessert, right? What else would you make with what you have? I don't have? know, I just wanted to be sure. If you're able to make something savory from this, mm -hmm. go right ahead. Okay, so I have an idea of what I'm gonna do. However, um, we're gonna have to go to Chris's house and do this because I don't have room for this to be put in the fridge at my house and that's obviously pudding has to be put in the fridge and there's no room in my fridge because there's four people that live here so uh no room for that here so we're gonna have to scoot scoot over to chris's house real quick go um how do i make this okay so we're here at chris's house i preheated the oven for the cinnamon rolls um i went to make the jello and apparently you need milk to make the jello and we don't have any. So that one's on Chris. So he's gonna go through the cabinets and find something else to replace the jello, I guess. All right, so instead of the pudding, we're going to use uh, Thin Mints and mini Three Musketeers instead, so. The oven is preheated. I'm gonna make the cinnamon rolls first because that's gonna take the longest. Okay. You ever opened cinnamon rolls before? Yes. Okay. I make you some. I made us cinnamon rolls. Do we have cooking spray here? No, it's at my house. Just use oil.
I feel like I would be really good at chopped. Maybe not like the cooking part because I can't cook, but like telling someone what to do, like the creative part of it, I'd probably be okay at I with that. You know? Although mm -hmm. I have terrible taste. So true. I, I always think like gross things are delicious, so. Yeah, like milk and pasta. Icing? Absolutely. Oh. Um. That's fine. We'll figure it out. Uh, later. All mistakes have been made. mistakes have not been made. I did have to take a cooking class for my hospitality degree. That's not really saying much because I didn't really pay attention the whole time. Um, but I do know some things. And one of them is how to supposed to be on but I do know that this is how you're supposed to melt chocolate I was just gonna put it in the microwave but I already put it in a metal bowl and you can't put metal in the microwave I do know that so we're just gonna turn it all the way up and really just hope for the best here Because if they're not done, I'm gonna burn them if I come back in. Cause I'm gonna forget about. I don't think that this is hot. I don't know why I'm wearing an oven mitt. I don't think it's hot to the touch. I feel like there's supposed to be milk in there. We don't have milk. Otherwise, it's gonna stick to that thing, isn't it? Not fully. The judges don't give contestants advice on chopped. I require assistance. They also don't help them open jars on chopped. <laughs> what is the point of having a big strong boyfriend if you can't do big strong boyfriends? So I don't know if you know this or if I've even told you this before, but I used to love peanut butter and fluff sandwiches when I was younger. That's what this is. This is fluff. Like you would put, instead of peanut butter and jelly, it was peanut butter and fluff. I think. Something in fluff. No idea what I'm gonna do with the with the cinnamon icing, the cinnamon roll icing. Okay. Okay, so that's 
seems good. In case you couldn't tell, this was this is my pie crust. Pie. Um, all right, so I think I do, I think um, I'm not gonna use the cinnamons. Um, and Chris said that was okay since we replaced the one thing of pudding with the two different kinds of candy. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna use those. And um, I had the idea of putting this in the fridge, but it's in a glass thing, so that might shatter. So we might not wanna do that because it's my mom's pie plate, not mine. She's gonna kill me if I break it. And also I don't think that she knows that I have it. So... She probably does now. I don't think my mother knows how to use the YouTube, as she calls it. So I'm gonna take this ice pack and just put it underneath it. And uh, that's how we're gonna cool it down. Why are you making that face? <laughs> you should probably put something on top of the ice pack at least. Why? I don't know. It just makes me nervous. It's already, it's already not cold. Yeah, you can see it expand. Yeah. That ain't it, fam. Cool. No. No? Yeah, it's already not cold. Okay, well. So, uh, I also have this shortbread pie crust. Um, I'm pretty sure he meant to get graham cracker crust, um, because I asked him and he didn't know what the difference was, so I'm pretty sure that's what he meant to get. do this on TV. It's warm when they do it on TV. Oh. Well, that's awkward. Right, no. Okay. So I'm done. Uh, so I guess now we're gonna eat this. Okay, so this is, this is what it looks like. Uh, a cinnamon roll crust filled with uh, melted three musketeers and uh, fluff topped with a crumbled up shortbread pie crust and cinnamon roll icing. Still uh, partially hot, not all the way cool because it is late and I am impatient. Oh, it actually smells really good. It smells like a, like a fall candle almost. Enjoy your candle. It's not bad. Uh, my chocolate mixture is very chewy. Oh, that's disgusting. So that's throwing me off, but overall it's not bad. Make sure you get crust pieces on there, like the crumbles. Yeah.
It's very chocolatey. Words, say them. Um, <laughs> I think without the cinnamon roll, I think it's good. Yeah, I think if you if it's a regular pie crust instead of a cinnamon roll crust, it's good. You gave me the cinnamon rolls. Uh, yeah, I did not give it to you in the idea that you would use it as a crust. What did you think I was going to do? I didn't know. That's why I got them. But I think whenever you saw pie crust and you saw cinnamon rolls, I think you put two and two together and you're like, I'm going to use the cinnamon rolls as a pie, pie crust because the only thing that you didn't hesitate to do was that. Yeah, for sure. Well, that's the only thing I could think of besides like using the cinnamon rolls as cinnamon rolls. Yep. And if you watch Chopped, you know that if you do not transform the basket ingredients, they complain and you get Chopped. I should also mention he has never seen Chopped until uh, just before we filmed this video, after he got the ingredients. So he didn't quite understand what was meant by that. But I know. I know. You're going back for second. Mm -hmm. Just a it's good. He's going back for a second. Okay, so overall, not a fail. I think it's not a fail. I think it was pretty good. Chris didn't like it, but I thought it was pretty good. Um, I actually had fun doing it. I wasn't stressed out or frustrated or anything, which is surprising. Um, but yeah, overall, I'd say it was, it was a. It was a good try. So now, tomorrow's video. I'm getting low on things in my sand bucket. Tomorrow is... Copy a professional or drag makeup look. Have Chris try it too. Uh, I'm not good at the makeup. Um, I really only do eyebrows and mascara on a daily basis. So this is going to be interesting, but it's going to be a lot more interesting to see what Chris does. I'm actually kind of excited for this one now. So we'll see.